uh, I think 10 years ago or something, me and Carla, we, we met in Antwerp because you know, I did some work for a, a not-for-profit gallery in Antwerp and then she she was asked to do a show in uh, in the Kunsthal of Bern and she asked me if I could, because I, I was already producing work for other artists, she asked me if I could uh, produce the some works and produce the, the exhibition in the Kunsthal and I think that's how we end up working together or on, on, on some first pieces and then she was asked to do a show in Clément Ferrand and when we went to see the space to start working on that show I was not really it was not really the idea that I would that we would make work together but then seeing the space and we discussed certain topics before and then in like 20 minutes the show crystallizes crystallized in the space and it was clear that the work was uh, that the whole exhibition was a work of both of us but since fair we also were constantly talking about yeah. the work so already the idea say like before we actually were asked to do the show in Clermont Ferrand I think that we were you and I talking all the time had already an idea of what the next show would be about or would be mm. like so I think that even that the installation in Bern was also very much done by the two of us. Yeah. So say the works were largely mine, but the installation and the move and all that was really done between the two of us. And I think that the, the main reason too is uh, is because the I before that we worked together it was I or and it's very clear since we worked together that the that we. We have the same. Um, yeah, we have the same type of aesthetics or same type of uh, attitude toward uh, or, or uh, attitude toward how to change an idea into a work. Um, well, that is the, about a year ago, Emilio contacted us and, and uh, invited us to do an exhibition here. Emilio I had met actually more than six, seven years ago, but um, somehow like through like keeping that, uh, that first visit in his mind and he said like, through other exhibitions and other people, whatever, so he just decided to finally invite us to do this thing. And what we do is that we normally go to this, we normally always visit the spaces before we do an exhibition. And from that first meeting with the space and we start to work toward what exactly, it's like it, is, it functions kind of like a more like site specific thing, even though the works are meant to work individually in any other space. But it's like when we do the installations, the installations should work um, like as a whole machine, as a whole mechanism or whole... Um, Sub-narrative yeah. or... I want to say something like a one character, like one... Yeah, as a whole. Yeah. It always like functions as a whole show, organism. as an organism. Yes. Yeah. This is the second time that we incorporate older works with new works. Uh, see, I lost it. <laughs> I lost it. No, that most of our shows, like Carla said, that uh, they, they work as a, as a... Mostly when we go to see a space, we create a, show, a, a full show for one space, or for like a, for a full exhibition. Um, and all the works, uh, like she said, works as a machine, and are mostly conceived on, on, at the same moment or in the same uh, line. In this case, and in, a, in the show we did in Caracas, we try to include site-specific works, older works, and reinterpret some other works to give them a new meaning or a, a, a different reading or something like that. Well, in a way, it's, like it's a type of versatility that can be applied to the work that now through the years, it's like through the time that we have been working together, we kind of like feel secure that this, not secure, but it's that like we know that these works can be incorporated in, the, in other exhibitions and can 
still they hold it, uh, the ground or the, uh, keep the meaning that were initially inserted. of the work, well, it's like the, say the initial important point of the work is like that the work normally should be encountered and should provoke questions. So we never, ever, ever, ever are interested in giving any sort of like um, didactic uh, or let's say didactic um, meaning or tell the viewer what to think or that it over it is like impose our views on something. It's like the main question is like to really see something and have your own questions. The, it's like the work always has a lot, it's, it's embedded with a lot of uh, contradictions. Say so the contradictions are important because that is like the, how can I say the contradictions are specific. It's like that is as far as we go in terms of guiding somebody, like in terms of what to think, in terms of what to think about something. But that's where it stops. You know, through the through the, the position of the works to watch it, so that to, uh, the, the juxtaposition of different works mm -hmm. will create other uh, will create questioning, mm -hmm. like in the case of this show. Having um, you know, in all the chairs being uh, unusable, and and that in in relation to let's say the the excavation of the marble piece, that these two things together will make you ask yourself. Yeah, what is happening? Like what? What could it be? But it's like it, I mean, we I I personally hope that it's like also that that. Um, it's like the images that you see here, or the um, the scenes that you encounter, can also provoke like a thought, a thought that could be expanded to something else. Doesn't have to necessarily be only about whatever it is that we show here. That you don't have to like get stuck in pattern or stuck in chairs, or that it's like you can go further with that. As Ken Pratt rightly stated in uh, in an article he wrote about us, it was the subtitle of his text was depth of focus. What he means there is, I think, uh, what we mean with that is less the depth of focus like you have in a photograph, but more as a, as a, uh, as partially as a visual space in, in, in relation to you, the use of mirror or the use of layers, uh, like the the the, uh, the 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 big pink veil or stuff like that, but as well as a, a, a mental depth of focus that you can you can see. In the mirror, you can see through the mirror. You can see on, on different layers, and you can access with your mind. You can access even other layers in your depth of focus. Mm -hmm. That's kind of something that's constantly uh, apparent in the work. Mm -hmm. Like with the, the wallpaper, you can see when on some point you look, you don't see anything. Depending how you look at it, you will either see the pattern or just see the wall or or a, 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 all these layers. Is something that is always intended in, in most of them. Like said, we, all, we also use a lot of abstraction, but the abstraction is informed a lot of times with figuration, and figuration is informed with abstraction. After, um, since, like we said before, that we don't, we never um, like. Uh, do like oh that's that's bad or that's good or we want to show you this since we always moral standpoint. Yeah, that we always like create question in this case after after what it could be after a, a bar fight it could be after a party it could be after an earthquake it could be after the the end of uh, um, uh, you know, or the end of, of a period or a kingdom or whatever, but it's after the, the thing is that nothing is broken, it's all like pristine. It's like a reconstructed after, like a fictive after. The, the, it's, it's probably after nothing because it's totally a, a, a fictional after, it, there, and there is no it's just before. Constructed. Yeah, it's totally constructed out of the questioning of, of that kind of uh, you know, mental state or something. I think that's mainly where it comes from. So in that sense, it's like the questioning, the questioning is like what happened? 
But I say, really, nothing happened, but then every little detail, I say, will guide like some kind of, some kind of a thought, something. Like if you see a chair on the floor, either the chair, the chair fell on the floor somehow by itself, I don't but know But it's how. not broken. It's not broken, it's, it's like somebody so. threw it, but no. But it is broken at the same time, because you are using the mirror, so you are deconstructing the space. So you are breaking the space, you're breaking yourself, by your and reflection is broken, so... And you take out all the, like, the, 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 the chairs or the concrete piece, that is the, the staircase, okay. it's... Useless. You, yeah, you, you take away its, its, uh, its initial views. Mm -hmm. Like the, the room piece, the marble piece, it's, it, it could be an excavation, but it's like in, it's in pristine condition, it's like new marble. You really clearly see that it's a constructed idea of a pastness. In this case, you could say that it's like the violence that happens is the violence that we inflict on the objects, on our own objects. So that's the only... Real that's violence said. that's in the show. So it's like, were the ones who are like rubbing the view through the veil, the ones who are rubbing the... Uh, the, uh, the use the of the chairs. The use, yeah, the use and the purpose of the stairs and the chairs. But... That's they a, are still perfectly placed mm. and perfectly clean and perfectly intact. And, 